Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the channel Market Uncharted. Today we are going to discuss about commodities and talking about a possible super cycle for the same that we are going to see in the next few years. Uh, I've been researching a lot about several people in the business talking about a possible commodity cycle. Also, JP Morgan released a note that a possible super cycle has now come to a start so let's discuss first what are the commodities they are used in the industrial sector and we'll see what are the main ones and um, i will divide this video into two parts where we discuss commodities for industrial and the precious metals so let's start what is a commodity a commodity is a basic good used in commerce that is interchangeable with other goods of the same type. Commodities are most often used as inputs in the production of other goods or services. The quality of a given commodity may differ slightly but is essentially uniform across producers. When they are traded on exchange, commodities also meet specified minimum standards, also known as basis grade. They tend to to change rapidly from year to year. And here, the first graph that we got from Bloomberg source, uh, this is important because we may possibly be break out a downtrend from several, several years, a 12 year resistance that we just did the breakout, which can show a change of the situation. We were in a downtrend. That doesn't mean we have started the uptrend, just means that we finished the downtrend that we had from the last 12 years. And just to have an idea, the last two times that we had a commodity super cycle in the beginning of the 1970s until 1980s, and then from the 2000s, you can see here the huge increase that it's possible to have in across all the commodity sector. And some traditional examples today, I divided a little bit. So today we are going to discuss oil, natural gas, copper and uranium. So let's start with crude oil, which is a naturally occurring unrefined petroleum product composed of hydrocarbon deposits and other organic materials. We all know this fossil fuel, our cars and many industrials use it. It's really important. Also important to tell that the usage uh, has become more and more common, but now we are starting to see a little bit change in this sector, while the huge uh, companies are seeing that the green energies are taking over. Still, crude oil is one of the biggest commodities right now, one of the raw natural resources that is extracted from the herd and redefined into products such as gasoline, jet fuel and other petroleum products it's a global commodity it can be traded in etfs derivatives contracts etc 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 so it still remains the single most important commodity in the world and we can see here a, a graph because this year is being really really important for for the for the oil you see here last year april we went into a negative oil prices historic movement but since then we are already above the $60 per barrel. So you can see a huge increase last year confirmed by the beginning of this year, a really strong uptrend pushed also by the inflation that we have been starting to see in many countries such as Germany, for example. And another Brent crude, which is another one you can see from April to right now, it's being a really uptrend, really strong, really fast, recovering all the losses just before the, the COVID situation. Another commodity is the natural gas, which is playing a large role in the energy industry. So you can see that now as a reality, we have around 12.7 million natural gas vehicles worldwide as of 2010. And this number has been increasing since then. It's the cleanest burning fossil fuel and economically friendly, contributing to about 25% of the United States energy use. So it's no wonder why it's serving as an alternative to other fossil fuels. And also important is copper. Copper have been uptrending in the last few days a lot. 
this is really another raw material where you can see the inflation impact of the beginning of 2021. Copper is used especially in industries like the electric vehicles, where you can see that it's been really, really in development with companies like Tesla, NIO, Xpeng, Li Auto, and many others, as now we are discussing for the possible merger of Lucid with CCIV. So you can see this is a, a important also raw material. Uh, <clears throat> Copper was the first metal to be worked with by humans and is among the most widely used. Also gives the overall strength of the global economy and it's really, really important. Because of infrastructure demand, emerging markets are key driver of copper prices. Emerging market countries have high growth rates for housing and transportation infrastructure and other types of construction. Therefore, the price of copper is sensitive to growth rates in these countries. Finally, but also really, really important is uranium another raw material that are starting a super cycle, a bull trend right now. This is just to give you an idea that uranium is heavy metal that is extracted as solid and converted by nuclear power plants into fuel source. This is also a green energy source that competes with natural gas, that competes with crude oil. And it's really important because we can start see now that power plants are really important for our future to have a more clean energy. The price of uranium is around right now around $30. And you can see here a, a, an idea from Sean and partners that have an idea to have in 2021 $46 for the uranium. So you can see it's a, it's a a sector that was really in a downtrend from the last few years is starting now to wake up and will show results. You can either invest in mining, uranium miners, you can go to the ETFs. This is not financial advisor, but it's important for you to understand how can you trade these commodities if you feel like to. Again, this is important why the, the video about commodities, because we are starting to see an inflation out there in the world, especially in the beginning of 2021. And commodities are seen as a hedge for inflation. Basically, commodity prices typically rise when inflation accelerates, which is why investors often flock to them for their protection during times of increased inflation, which is my opinion exactly what's happening right now. As the demand for goods and services increases, the price of goods and services rises and commodities are what's used to produce those goods and services because commodities price often rise with inflation this asset can this asset class can often serve as a hedge against the decreased buying power of the currency i think that's what we are seeing in dollar the decreased power of of dollar versus the price of the commodities and just again, as we were saying, emerging markets can give a really good idea about commodity price. And you can see that we are in the last few years seeing a spike up with the, the prices of overall commodities. Also important to understand the ratio between the commodities and equities. Basically, when we have peaks means that uh, uh, the, the bubbles are inverse, which means when people are more interested in investing in stocks, the commodities price are low and vice versa. So you can see here last time this went down, the tech bubble in the 2000s, the ratio was really down. And right now, the values of the same ratio are even downer. So you can see the, the, the appetite of investors to risk is really even more than what happened on the tech bubble. Therefore, that is exactly why commodities are on all time lows. Higher inflation can also be coming and bring uh, outperformance on real assets such as commodities. Important to understand when we are feeling inflation, it's important to be long commodities, short long term bonds, because commodities as we've seen before it can be an inflation hedge and real assets usually can take it in the inflation palladium which is another commodity that we can speak today because palladium is ahead of many others that already did its movement since 2020 a really uptrend movement spike really really up which is already showing the inflation in the market 
also rhodium also used for the energy in electric vehicle sector you can see a spike up so the demand for these commodities are becoming more and more important as the world is turning out green but also with the inflation on the prices and again just a small comparison between commodities and s p 500 that ratio you can see we are all time lows shout out to silver charters to provide this this graph this is really important so we understand where exactly we are all time lows between 90 80 and right now and it's important because we need to understand if it's possible to have a super cycle in the commodities on the next few years we are starting exactly on the right spot which is the lowest of the lowest and before ending out just a, a few key takeaways important a commodity is a basic good used in commerce that is interchangeable it's often used for production it's really important to have on your portfolio as a hedge against inflation and important here to understand this news about gp morgan that said commodities may have just begun a new super cycle so guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget knowledge is not power knowledge is potential power execution everything I hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe our channel for more content. And don't forget, just like the markets, we will not rest.